Hey, I'm Andrew Day with Rush Performance. I'm a powertrain engineer. I want to walk you through the installation of RDT using our OBD dongle that we're starting to provide with our performance packs. It's real easy, it's only a couple steps and you can deliver a calibration to your vehicle in your driveway home. There's no need to take your vehicle to a dealer, you can do it right there on your own you know, in less than 30 minutes. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to install the drivers that come with the uh, OBD. Next you'll install RDT and you can do that by going to rdt.roush.com. Then you'll have to fill out the uh, information on the main page. So we can send you an activation code and then you can download the software down below. And if you're using our OVD device, you do not need to download the drivers that come on the website. Now the installation's finished, you can launch RDT. It'll give you a message that you need to enter your activation code, which will be in your email. So you'll enter the email address that you use for your activation along with the code. You'll plug your cable into an OBD port on your computer, and then you'll plug it, the other end of it, into the OBD port on the car. And once you have it plugged in, go to key on on your car, then hit vehicle ID. It'll read the VIN number and connect to the vehicle. You'll go to module programming. You'll enter a voucher down the bottom, and it'll come up with the window asking you for a voucher code, a voucher family, and a tear tag. The voucher code and voucher family will be on a card that we send you with whatever kit you order. It'll have a code on the front that tells you the family. Then on the back, there'll be a 16 digit code that's unique and it can only be used once. To get your tear tag, you'll need to go to uh, a Ford website, which is motorcraftservice.com slash asbuilt. And when you're there, you'll enter the VIN number for your vehicle and it'll give you the four digit tear tag. Then you'll enter that in the uh, redeem voucher window in RDT. You'll hit redeem now, it'll go to the server and find the file you need for your specific vehicle. It'll give you a window that says redemption and successful and flash is enabled, you hit okay. And then you can hit flash. Uh, before you do that though, you'll wanna make sure that you have a good charge on your battery. If you're in question whether or not your battery's got a good charge on it, it's best that you hook it up to a charger. If you don't hook it up to a charger and your battery goes dead in the middle of the flash, you can actually wipe out your PCM and you'll have to have it replaced or uh, go to a dealership and sometimes they can recover it. Hit flash and it'll actually give you the exact same warning that I was telling you about. Make sure that your battery's charged. You'll hit OK. I'll tell you to turn your key on, which the car is right now. And then it'll start programming the module. It typically takes about five minutes for this to finish. While it's happening, your car will make a bunch of beeps. Uh, you'll hear modules and relays turn on and off. This is completely normal, uh, just part of the process. After it's finished installing, it'll bring up a window to cycle the ignition. So turn your car off, turn back the key on again, hit OK and it'll tell you your flash is complete and you may disconnect from the vehicle. So that's pretty much the entire process. RDT is a really powerful tool. Not only can it deliver a new calibration to your vehicle, but it will also do data logging, it'll do share data with us so we can help diagnose any problem you may have. Um, if you have questions, you can go to rdt.roush.com. There's a full installation manual and user guide there with countless slides that'll walk you through every possible step of the installation or a flashing a vehicle. Um, and also give you details about running some of the other tests that you know I discussed but didn't really show you in depth. Like I said earlier, you know, you can do from start to finish brand new installs in typically less than half an hour, but under an hour for sure.